Okay, this is year 11. First topic, structures and bonding. We're going to start with metallic bonding. So we're all on the first booklet for all these slideshows I'm going to put on. We start with metallic bonding. Any metal will contain this type of structure. We've got positive charged ions in layers. And you've got delocalized electrons that are moving around in between them. They're delocalized. Delocalized means that they can move about. So they all have layers of positive ions and negative delocalized electrons. Every metal has a similar giant structure. Giant structure just means that you've got lots of these metal ions. Lots of these metal ions in a repeating pattern, which is called a lattice structure. So whether you've got sodium or zinc, they're all in layers, and they've all got electrons between them. So it's called a giant structure, and it's a lattice structure as well. The positive ions and negative electrons attract each other because opposites attract, and you've got, that's what makes the metallic bond. Positive attracting the negative, attracting the positive, attracting the negative, attracting the positive. Because the electrons are free in the structure, they can move. And so they can carry a charge. Don't say carry a current, say carry a charge. So they can move from one end of the metal to the other when you apply voltage to it. The drift of delocalized electrons from the negative terminal to a positive terminal. So the electrons can move. So they can conduct electricity. They can carry a charge. Cations, if you see the word cation, that just means positively charged ions. And you can see the delocalized electrons here. Because the delocalized electrons can move, it can conduct electricity. Metals are malleable. Malleable means they can be hammered into thin sheets or it can be bent easily and shaped without breaking. When a force is applied, the layers of atoms slide over each other and stay in the new position. So you've got your layers of positive ions or atoms. And when you hit it with a force, they literally move across each other. They slide over each other and they stay in their new position. This is called metallic slip. So if you're asked what metallic slip is, it's where the positive metal ions move over each other, they slide over each other when a force is applied. Metals are ductile too. They can be pulled into wires without snapping. So because the positive metal ions are in layers, they can move over each other and so metals are ductile. They have high melting and boiling points because you've got strong forces of attraction between the positive and negative charges. These are called electrostatic forces of attraction because you've got positives attracting negatives, attracting positives, attracting negatives. And you need lots of heat energy to overcome these forces of attraction. So metals have high melting and boiling points. Where do the delocalized electrons come from? They come from the outer shell of an atom. So we've got aluminium here. Aluminium has three outer electrons. So every atom would have three delocalized electrons around it. If you had a different metal, you'd have fewer electrons or a different number of electrons moving around the structure. <laughs> 